Hello everyone, Son of Beast here. Welcome back to another NHL 23 of NHL on EA Sports. This next matchup is about to be a face-offing of a collision course on a run. The Carolina Hurricanes are playing at Detroit at Mortar City against the Red Wings at Little Caesars Arena. They are not definitely a good ones to get things right on the board. They could try to like, keep it back and tight, but it may be too hard to find out what will happen if the Red Wings don't have enough to get right back into it. It will be too hard to tell right in between for the action. Some plays can't be uh, enough anymore. It will be too much to go right around the back, and it may not be enough to get a win if there's a player here on the team that definitely took it all. Last season, we saw Carolina Hurricanes win against the Ducks a 5-4 game, and Detroit Red Wings beat the other team of Columbus Blue Jackets for the, for the better placing of the scores. So with that one, here are the lineups as we have the players as follows. Sebastian Ajo, Jacob Slavin, and Frederick Anderson. Now for Ajo and Slavin, they have a lockdown and the third eye. That means they can spot their targets right away and can find another look in between. Well, that's the only other keys on this matchup. They may be too hard to like to tell, but it may not be uh, terrific though if they can try to leave it all they have. I don't know what to tell you about this one, but uh, it's uh, it's quite very uh, difficult to give a decision right. And for Red Wings, we have is Dylan Larkin, Maurice Sider, and Tyler Batusi. Now, on the other hand, or I'm going to tell you this one here at, at the moment, here as I will show you the wheel of the superstar players. Larkin says wheels. Definitely have to have an elite skating with the puck. He definitely also has the elite edges, and he also got to make it snappy. So, he could try to find another way. And, for Maurice Sider, he has send it. That's an elite long passing to have the, the goals and probably maintain the, uh, the distance from in between the defenders and offenders. Well, it's time now to send you down to Little Caesars Arena for the broadcast of tonight's game. I will have the next commentators up here that we'll be bringing here and get ready to go on board. We have on here is that we'll be the first one to take a look for a lookout in between by the range of the two. That means Test 2 will be back here on the NBA but next one I will have is Meepo, and then across from the other side will be Fan. Yep, that's the same person you've always known, but that's definitely the only key that you can try to give that one to well. Anyway, let's head on in, and a center ice will be test two. Anyways, let's get in this game. Enjoy the show, guys. Hello everyone, Mephone here, and it's a great day to play hockey as we got the Red Wings facing against the Carolina Canes, the tough team in the Metropolitan section. Both Eastern Conference of the matchup is about to take live at Little Caesars Arena. And here we are, the puck is dropped and we're underway. Sebastian Alvo has it out of the front. Across it is Tarvanian. Then on the other hand is Jacob Slavic. Also, we have his Burns. Across here is Jarvis, and with the lack of a push off here, we have his Anderson. Anderson really well to try to keep the insane a good run and control. He could try to take them all down from the angles. There might be tough ones to go right in between here if they're going to try to fix up an offense. But not really to be certain, but that might be tough ones to go as well. On the other hand is Kubalik. Kubalik finds Puron, finds Larkin. Larkin's inside the zone, finds Perron! That's stopped by Anderson. Anderson's got a very good one. Sider finds Perron. Perron inside the wing. Kubalik up, deflected, and offense was picked up and jammed. Here is not a good side. Really can't feel anything about it. Turbine in. That pass taken. That takes over over on Tarmanian. The Hurricanes are back into the offensive zone. Looks over to Burns. Burns shoots! Stopped it up by Husso. Husso has his first save in this game. Stopping the clock at 17.22 to go. Both players are set here for the faceoff. 
We're still on a good lookout as no score has been taken off. That faces up in here with a wings win. Ronick has the puck. He coops it over to Cop. Finds Raymond. Raymond inside, and triple man defenders are blocked up. Cop shot blocked up by the defender. Anderson takes a save. That's a great look to keep your eyes on here. I'm sure that it really has to turn things off what they are going for. Shetsukov, shot went wide. And Katami has the puck back. Detroit has the puck in control. He looks over to Raymond. Raymond finds over to Cott. Passing the neutral zone into the offense zone. Sinashikov takes a steal. He's in alone. Shoots one. Stopped by Sars. Pass up in front. Blocked up by a defender by Solderball. That's a good help in defense here for the Wings to pick it up. I'm pretty agreed on that one here. Very well done. And that may be a tough one to give that one a good look at the offense control. Pest clears it. This goes with an icing call as we will have to stop and whistle bound. We haven't made it to the midway period left. We're still on a tie score game. That goes with the pass, stall wins. Rosemus! Oh, Anderson had it all! He was almost going to make that one a mistake. Well, tough to clear that one there. He was lifting strong. Red Wings wins it, control. Great shot, and right by the chest of Anderson with the save. Martinus covered up. He takes it back. Pulls it down on ice. Fast. Keeps a cuck alive to stop the play. Marnuk right over to Coglon. Up over to Chatfield. Shoots one in the puck. Almost went to flick it, but holds on tight. Chariot has the puck. Lifts it over to Ern. Ern fires the puck on the board. Unable to make the play. Back to Martinuk. The Hurricanes are up in. Heavy inbound. Almost went tipped. A save me comes up strong. Oh, big stop. Finds Coughlin. Moves it quickly over to Burns. Burns swings back to Coughlin. Coughlin shot. Deflected. Oh, also with the save. And they'll stop the play with under 14 minutes to go. What a tough stop. Both players are set here for the faceoff. No score yet to play. Hurricane wins it. Slavin blocked up and almost went out of play. Really tough ones. Great defense, great skills on that one. They're going to need it. In front, score! Shotsney puts a goal in from the assistant. That puts him up a 1 0 lead by Stepan. Quick pass always comes out. Stepan really got at the Shastney. And now that we put it in there, he got a great stop out there. That's the first assist here for our Stepan. Shastney has his first goal. It's a 1 0 lead for the Carolina Hurricanes. They're looking for another way to go right back into it. And they're still in first place in the Atlantic Coast of the Eastern Conference section here in the Metropolitan Area. How does it really take it with that one here, Dan? Well, seems like that the Hurricanes are very in good control to keep that one here. I gotta say, it's their 25th anniversary. They, they really got a great uh, look of it in between. I mean, they really can do that one here, but tell me that one more. They really got a great stop on that place. I think the Hurricanes really gotta do is they need to go up a shifting gears here to find a look of man average on offense. That might be the key to take it over. Man in front! Tempted out! Also with the save! Katami shuts the call back to Burns. Now swings back over to Skeji. Moves back over to Burns. Shoots one! That's blocked up by a defender. Defenders always get tough. That's really the same thing goes with. Burns moves inside, chest it up, good save made by Usso. Look out, block the shot in traffic. 
Sutter's got his rebound. Wings are back in offense. Moves inside. Burns takes a steal with the poke check. We pass the midway period as it's now a 1-0 lead for the Hern Kings. Pass is almost broken up. Cop pass a cup. Sadina has a puck inbound. Now the Hurricanes are back in offense. Ajo looking over right on the line. Pass to Setsukov. Takes a good inbound on the defenders to try to take it away from the puck. They need, they need some practice out there. They need to find somebody out there. Shoots one. Ago backhand and it's stopped again by Husso. He finds Jarvis. Jarvis up over to Seji. Back to Jarvis. Looks inside and a save made by Husso. Now Ago has the puck. Nice defensive play. Bellino has the puck here in the offensive zone. Block it out and the puck goes over the net. We got a whistle out of play. Tough ones out there. Larkin has a wheels that takes him all that he has. He could try to fix the man out there and can skate hard to find a look of average. Sebastian Ago has a third eye agenda. Makes it quick shots. Score! Larkin finally gets a goal. They're on the board. It's a tie game. Here's Larkin. He'll want to play here. And as I just said here before, here, that Sebastian Ago has a third eye. He has a lot of plays in this in between to give that one a good run. So far, however, they really need to give that one a good lengthy credit run. I'll keep an eye on those two players if they have anything. But great skull here for, Lark for Larkins. He's got a good one. I'll keep an eye on him too. Guys, back to you. Ron, right in the neutral zone. Now face over into Mata. Back over to Huron. Kubalix up in the corner. Look in the middle. Saved by Anderson. That stopped the play here and goes back the other way. Huron steals it. Huron. Kubalik. Well, stop made. And Anderson has it back. That play and inbound can't be a lot uh, less fooling unless we can get over it. Martin looks. Oh boy, here we go. Rebound. Not enough to get over it. Great stop by Hustle. Shotzi tries again with the Carolina offense. Chatsfield blocked the pass. Shotzi back to Chatfield. Finds Slavin. Slavin right to Chatfield. Shoots one. Almost went to flick it and it's Russo with the number pad save me. That really has to get himself a good run of ability. What a great defense. Sonnerbaum inside. Looking over. Inside the man. Nice D, and that takes away in the corner of the wall. Ramzus, deflected back in, will not be rejected out here for tonight. Slavin, right over to Nosen. Nosen still keeps it alive. Hurricane up, with the shot, saved by Husso. They're back into a do it again. Burns with control, back to Slavin. Slavin inside, block the shot by a defender. Now really has to give it up, a blocking skate to try to help him out. But that really could cut up in the moment. Here's Sepon, inside, backhand. That is not going to help him out, that blocks the shot by Lindstrom. Blocking the player. Skeggy has his own rebound. Now finds Burns, looks it over to Satsny. Puck went loose. Rebound again. Finds Turvinian. Turvinian back out in trouble. Skeji. Over the pass. Shoots left. That is deflected off the goalie. Skeji outside. Make a move. What a play by Raymond. Raymond really can do that one here again. Try to make a great stop out of it. Great play. It's on alone. Here he goes. Lindstrom. Deflected again. Another bad look here for the Red Wings. Two minutes to play in the first period of the game. It's a tie game. Skeggy outside. Needs to find something big out there to give a good look in open range. Sekas up. Almost would have been picked up a penalty call on Detroit. 
but they still kept it clean. Clean defense, clean rules. You can't go wrong with anything. Turbine in. Swings over to Katemi. He's all alone. With a one. Neck is stopped by Sasso. We just can't believe it. He got it again. We get past a minute to play here in the first period. It's still a tie game. And Perron's coming in. He goes hot. And Slavin has picking up here with the rejection. We bat it up by Wernicks. Red Wings trying to go back on defense. Block it up by Kapalix. Larkin has his puck. Now swing it back over. Shoots wide. A sex would save here by the goaltender. Stall with it. Clears the puck. And that will do the first period. A tie game victor score with the Red Wings in control. One and one. We'll be right back after this. Teams are ready to play on the ice, and we are about to start the second period. Dago takes a win to the faceoff, and we are back. Good to be back with you with us. Let's see which player has it covered. We have some tough scores in between. A chassis has put it up and rebounding here by the assistant one-time goal by Stepan. He really got a great look of it. And Perkins put it back in there with another good use of it under control. How does it really take off for David Perkins, Perkins to go with? They really have some a lot of players to go with defensive sets. They're not really in control right on the board, but they really are not trying to like give up to another player so they need to give that one a bad angle on this look. I'm pretty sure they're gonna need to give that one a try to go with a different angle. They they gotta get played hard. Ah, go right outside. Looks for it. And to fuck it in. That tips it out. Jarvis puts it back in. Tice has come up to break it up. That player was already been taken down. No challenge. That was all that happened. Jarvis was really going to take it over with the offense. He did have a right timing. Great putback. And try to knock out from the goalie here to try to trick it up. They got a lot of it to go right from here. Now, great setup here, change for Jarvis, as he's got his first goal of the night. And with the assist that put it up here, hit the goal post by Ago. And Tarvinen has got an assist here with the, with, the, with the setup to make a change up. What a play. Here's Chariot outside. Looks inside the middle. A oh, great setup defensive on the Hurricane defense. Looks over to Nekas. Looks over to Stetsikov. That pass gets broken up. Bolano over to Kopp. Stetsikov takes it back. A lot of revenge out there to keep it over. Yeah, they gotta do that one. Be careful. That pass. Kopp has the puck. In the offense zone. Looks again. Raymond with the puck. Shoots it saved by Anderson. Shetsukov with the puck. Rolling in the offense of the territory with the Red Wings. Looks it over. Nekas couldn't try to save the connection. That goes off wide. Now finds Kovlin. The Kings are moving the puck quickly. Transfer to transfer. Always got to make a move here without making a deflection. Kovlin shot. That stopped by Hasso. And bad pass making. That's Raymond with the steal. Raymond up in front. Oh wow, take a big crack of that one here. That goes with Kalan with a with a takedown. No penalty on the wrapping on that call. He got a good play in the screen. Saul with the butt. Now finds Chatfield. Looks over to Martin. Back over to Chatfield. Chatfield, move inside! Hustle stop inbound and a save as comes up just to pass it to 15 minute mark. We got a tough one to play. Hustle and Anderson are very that tough. The top D's are in transition. Inbounding is very hard to make a look. I can tell that one here that it looks like the Hustle was really trying to book a you know, hustle the bustling on that moment. They got a good one. Wow, great stop here by Hasso. What a great, great run on that one. And Anderson really got a 
a really well place out there. He's really well into the pick. Cup wins the faceoff. Now finds the Kubaliks. Detroit in the offense zone of Carolina territory. Perron blocked it like Slavin on a lockdown. What a great stop for him tonight. Mata, Kubaliks. That is off the goaltender. Slavin rebounds it. Sign step on. Nosen still holding on. Hurricanes are in the territory now. Slavin finds Burns. Shoots one, and it's stopped by Hurso. perron has got it now in the neutral zone. Now he's in the offense zone. Looks over, Larkins! Defected in! He did! Perron gets a goal! Back to tie the game! I'm pretty sure it looks like Perron was going to give that one a good run. Perron really has a lot of all of his ability. He's celebrity! And he made that one another connection to try to go around with. He find a man opener. That's a great pass to make a connection feed. We'll see if Perron can try to keep it going and find another way to go around it. I'll keep in touch with the players or they are looking for. Guys, back to you. Sarah Biden finding over is Jarvis. Jarvis up in the move. Backhand blocked by Soderblom. Sutterblom up to Kuronox. Tarabinen comes in to save it. 2 on 1. That went wide and was too much to pick it off. Tarabinen back again. Ooh, taking a little big out there. Bird Eye rushes off to Ramsaman. Earn in the front. Earn sails it. He's fighting a man mig out there. Looking over Cider. Find Solderbaum. Ramsmussen. Chariot. Ramsmussen. Stopped again by Anderson. Looking in front. Earn. Scope saved by Anderson. What a stop made. Now Anderson was really a picking up. Watch out there because there's some players that are keeping an eye on pressure. Stall with the puck. Moves it in front. That is deflected off of the defender. Fast with that now, finds Pesh, and Pesh didn't find a man opener in coverage. Look at move, Skudgy holds it back. Stall with the putt. Offense looking territory, look to back to back. Look in front, another textbook save by Hustle. Cold line, no siree, they are out of control. Maglana back to Pesh, now moves back to Colano. Shoots one! No siree! Hustle! Puts a great save on the glove. Stop the run passing the midway period. Both players are set on face off. The game is still tied up with a sudden changeoff. Hurricanes win it back. Finds Chatfield. Back to Stepan. Stepan to Chatfield. Back over to Colon. Colon back to the Chatfield. With the lift, that is deflected and goes off the goaltender. Back over to Kalan. Looking over to Chatfield. Chat's knee up again. Move around. Scores! Back in the lead. Two goals in the game. They are pulling it up again. That Chat's knee move didn't feel like he was going to take it off. Paul Chat's knee was really around. Around the man and just had it all. He was trying to help out the defender, but it was cut up too short. Could have tried to save that one big. Hurricanes are back in the lead right now on the board. 23 was a, just a combination for, for Chassis to pick up here for the Hurricanes. Now they're extending back up in the lead, just for one. Offside is the call, and we got a whistle and mound. 844 coming up. Players are set inbounds. Looking for a face-off right at this moment. It's a 3-2 lead, Hurricanes. Red Wings wins it. Cheria over to Kabalics. Back to Larkin. Blocked it up by Kahami and Temi. What a stop made by her to Hurricane control. Plays on that one. It's going to be very tough to try to figure out what it's going to be. Chariot outside. 
Move around in front. Clark Yanks. Gloves save. They will hold the whistle out inbound for just under eight minutes. Back with the win. Blocked up by Nekas. Burns has the puck in control. Back in offense race. Now finds the Sessikov. Looks back to Slavin. Slavin wins around. Looks over to Sessikov. That is not going to help. That's Hustle with the save. Players are set here for another faceoff on a look. Frozen Biscuit for the Wings has played declared and they're back to do it again. Slider back to Chariot. Moves up to Kabalix. Red Wings are going back in offensive control. Carolina back the airway. Now finds Nekas. Nekas, two on one. Blocked out, but it's tipped back in. Nekas with the goal. Oh my goodness, the Hurricanes are in a push inbound. That did turn out to be a defensive mistake. Wow, Hustle was really sure he was going to get that one in there. But he just didn't see that puck. He lost that one, and he didn't see where it was going. It was a tough call to make that play. Red Wings. Tough plays on the defenders. Slavin back outside. Slavin finds over to Nelson. Nelson still in trouble. Finds Chatsney, finds over Slavin. Slavin, take it back away. Oh, the big fight. Watch out now. There are going to be a lot of heavy hitters. Step on. Back inside the puck zone. Back that shot. That is off the defender and it goes out of play. Five minutes left to play in the second period. Still a 4-2 score game here for the Hurricanes. Darrell try again for the offense. Finds Oppo. Lifts it inside. Looks over to Sketchy. Backhand stopped by Husso. That stops the play here inbound with just under 430 left. Players are set here on passive control. It was 98% here for the Red Wings and 85% for the Hurricanes. Still on the tight run, but they're still looking for another way to get back into it. Mata has the puck. And there are no penalties up here for the Cranes. Still on a clean side. Turvinen has the puck. Skedgy back to Pets. Take a big flip with the stick flip, but holds on tight. Puck is slugged in. Raymond has the puck now on control. Back the airway, Turvinen. Turvinen looking over. Algo blocked up by the defender. Shapiro back over to Colin. Colin as Veleno has taken away. 101 fast break. Hold the puck here, said that goaltender. Hey, clears it up. That really has to take things all here for Anderson to try to hold on. Watch out the players. Colon shot blocked right into the board. Colon fights Ajo. Ajo will have been messed up already, but no call as we gain for Detroit Red Wings for the penalty kill. They're still clean. Nothing is being sold out. Fights Coglon. Looks to Marno. Backhand to Ago. Marinux couldn't see where the puck was going. And now it went back the other way. Slabbing with the puck. Suter. Saved by Anderson. Holding big strong here at this moment as we pass a minute to have to play. Fast leaving it up forward. Chariots takes it away from the pass deflector. Detroit back in offensive control. To Sardina. Almost went tip, but he puts it back in. Sardina. A goal made. Back in again. They really are trying to pick it up. What a defender has to pick it up. They really need something else to find it. Zadina with the first goal. It comes down to a 4-3 game. Hurricane still in front, but they're looking for a way to fight back here in a third period. They can try to take it over.
that really has to say things up here for the better place. They gotta find somebody else. Such a call with the putt. Lifts it from here. Burns! Deflected up and over the net to the back of the board. Slabbing the Burns. Burns moves it across. Back over to Slabbing. Slabbing back to Burns. Shoots one and stopped by to the goaltender. Loof has the putt. Then Dino. Puck to Loof. Two periods is over. Last period should do here as we will have to see if the Red Wings can bring it back. 4-3 game. Be right back after this. Two periods are over and this is the final period of the regulation. Well fans, we really enjoyed having you here for just two periods. A tough, tremendous run here for the Hurricanes and the Wings. They're definitely a tough, good team. Red Wings are trying to keep it focused here if they want to head back into the playoff in this game. But it may not be enough to figure it out if they can try to stabilize it back. They really got a good offense and strength. How does it take you from here, here, here man? Well, this, this really has to turn things out here. Very, very tough to find an inbound. I really like how that, that game pressure works for the for the Hurricanes. They've really done some great plays in this one. They won the Stanley Cup Finals in 2005. They really got a lot of great stackability runs, but they are trying to keep this over with. And I'm not sure about the Detroit Red Wings. I don't know how many they have won, or they probably haven't won the Stanley Cup. I mean, I don't know what's the choice for that one, but it could be another way to just, just find another way. Well, you may know that. Neckus finds over again to Aho. Now finds back to Turbine. Birds. Off the puck again. Kabalik with the rebound. Red Wings are back in offensive zone. Finds Larkin. Larkin finds Kabalik. Going to tie it. No, sir. That's out of reach here. Saved by Anderson. Neckus has the puck in control. Shoots one. Says scores. What a goal. Neckus moving in quick. The wrist shot was been lifting it inside the, the zone. What a great stock ability run for Neckus. The Hurricanes are back up to a two point lead in the score of the range. A tough, tremendous place here for the Red Wings as they're trying to pull it back with an answer. They're not really sure what they're going to do. They got to find another way out. Katemi has got the puck, finds Burns. Cop takes it over. Here, one on one fast break. Stop again by Anderson. Back takes another great saving look on the run, and they're out of their minds again. Marion looks, no, no room to fix, your, to fix the speech. Slavin with the puck control. Finds Raymond. Glove saved by Anderson. Now we'll hold the puck in. We're just under 16 minutes to play in the third. If you're looking for our next game, we got the, the rival teams in between. The next commentary up we will have is Jay Sabalski and Greg Ferraro uh, along with along with Kara to to have a liftoff in between to have a next game at Capital One Arena where the Capitals are playing against the Tampa Bay Lightnings. It's the toughest team to make an inbounding, and it is a rival team. I know it is, but sadly though, that the Washington Capitals really have faced things up. We remember the back from the time here, that was definitely faced up in 2018. Capitals beat the Bucks. They are a very good team. And thanks to Alex Ovechkin, they've really got a lot of uh, great runs on the board. Here's the IMA Rush. Scores! Pull it back! It game's not over yet. Don't leave your seats. It's coming right at you. Adam Ern really is slivering it up through. With tough release really on the odd man rush, he left it all alone. He says, I got it all. I got this. And he is on the move. What I'm making of this game. Scores! Ties the game! Lars Moosen! First goal! They are on the 
snowboard. Tough to clarify, he also has Rasmussen. <laughs> oh boy. It looks like the Red Wings and the Canes are could be a great matchup. As is being said here, that that um that Ern was lifting it off his moment. And with that one, he's lifting off from his batter on his angle strength. He lifts it up here. He loves to mess up the defenders. And with that run, Rasmussen is really lifting off his curse. He's back in again. What a play make. I'll keep an eye on those two if they, if they have a chance ability run. That's you guys. Chatfield with the puck. Almost left to the puck. Skeggy holds on. Stick lifted. Hold it back is Chastney. Lifts it over to Nosen. Nosen rejected the, rejected the hits on the board. Chassis up, almost went to fleck it and in the net, but also makes a great save. You gotta hit that one in there. That's a tough one to go about. Players are set here for the faceoff. You can feel the energy of the crowd. It's a 5-5 game, an even score. Look, Lassmussen is making his good ability run to give it off these guys. Larkin, and bad pass taken. Sider has recovered the puck for Detroit. Finds Perron. Lifting over again. Perron with it now. Mecca takes it away. Clears the puck down for the, for the Carolina. Sider recovers the puck. Lifts it back the other way to Kabalix. Over in the offensive inside, Larkin shot, stopped by Anderson, what a save made. Almost going to be a too close call, but great stop here to show up by. Mekas with the puck, battle along the board. Puck gets carried out and they will have to regroup here on offense for the Canes to deliver it again. Sensikov almost went bad. Calling for backup for, for retreat, Mekas. Lifting back again, Mekas is still okay, but didn't see it going. One-timer blocked the shot in front as Perron. Great play. Larkin's got one. Great play in between for the offense and defense, but a lot of heavy hitter in attack. Aho with the puck past the midway period. Shoots one. That is stopped by Husso. Moves back over to Burns. Spin move back to Slavin. Slavin over to Jarvis. Jarvis to Burns. Shoots one. That is out of here. Hustle with the save. That really is going to give a good tight offense to give that one a good run. They really are starting to struggle a bit, but they're going to try to figure it out if they can recover it. Charia with the putt. Fighting the board. Carolina back with the putt. Moves back to Burns. Shoots right in, hit the goal post and just couldn't get a save back in there. Car pass the puck. Slavin recovers the puck here for an offensive zone. Mata his slider. And pass pass is taken over by Detroit. Back over to Burns. Moves back to Slavin. Slavin finds over Burns. Needs a regroup here again. Setup change for number one to fast. Hurricanes can find a man see it coming, and that is a first look to have it messed up in the ball. Martin Hooks over to Stahl. Stahl moves inside. Looking aboard. Oh, and they couldn't make a connection feed the fast. It was deflected out of here. Not a great choice out there. Not a great call. But they need just something else to try to pick it up a bit. Martin Nooks, fast, unable to make it proceed, but we'll have to regroup again. Martin Nooks, back to Sketchy. Back over to Burns. Lots of play time to kill the clock down, and Sketchy will have to try to regroup it again. Sketchy in trouble, and it's sided with the takeaway. Looks over to Valeno. Put the puck alone! Oh, a block stop by Burns. What a great stop. Never say. Anderson holds on. The puck is stopped and the play whistle is already coming down to 536.
players are off to a face-off in the end. A tie game still on a run, need to find something big. Looking big, Mata shot way off the mark. Slaughterbaum, Mata really left it off here with Anderson with the big save. He's really going to keep it over it. Great stop. Skeji and Shatsi has broken the pass by Mata. Rasmussen. Stopped by Shatsi with the stick away with the putt. And Soderbaum still has it over again. They're really off to a bad start again. They need to find something else. Shatsi with the putt. Lifting over. Shoots one. Deflect it out of here. Looks back to Kovlon with the shot. Textbook save. Hustle with a great inbound and the fans are loving it. Hustle's really on a strong move out there. What a play. And we have a call for test two. Dylan Larkins has got the wheels on a heavy stick inbound. He could fire it up here from the stating of his ice ability. And with the other look here of Sebastian Ago with the third eye. He really can find a player with an open man advantage and find a player to look over through. I'll keep an eye on those two players here for Larkin and Ajo if there are updates found. Guys, back to you. Ajo leads it up in front. He got numbers. Ajo in. Stop again by Ajo. Hustle on that. Chatsfield almost went poking away. Turbine in, back to Colon, no, back over to Chatfield. Looks to Ajo. That is stopped. Kabalich with the rebound. Poked away. No penalty on the Carolina. Huron with the puck. Detroit back in offensive zone. Could go for the breaking tie chain. No, can't do. And that's a save made by Anderson. Ago racing towards the front of it. He's got Sosikov looking in. What a stop by defender. And no room for error. Kovano. Stop by Mala. Jarvis has the puck in control. Loses it. And Sadina gives it over to Luf. Poke it back. Jarvis. Back in offense zone. Finds Snetikov. Looks to Burns. In front. Stopped by Hosso. Last minute of play in the third period. A tie game has been released. Need to find something big here. What a play made. Oh, misfired. And it goes back the other way. Icing is the call, which is 47.9 seconds. Players are off to offense, ready to take the faceoff inbound. And with that one, Slider wins it. Club saved by Anderson and goes back the other way. Katemi, he's racing inside, looks over to Lucas. No inbound. Looks over to Sketchy. 30 seconds left to play in the third period. Need to find something big. Find Sketchy, right over to Burns. Shoots right in. And it took back too hard and it's out of reach. Mekas to Skeji. Skeji moving in. Shot wide off the mark and hit the board. 10 seconds. Chariot needs to find a goal. Raymond with the puck. And the connection feed will be out of time. That ends the regulation period. We are going to overtime. Players are all tied up again. And we'll have to see if there's another way they can find it to fight back. Two goals for the Red Wings and just five for the Carolina Hurricanes. Overtime is next. It's been a tough, tremendous game here. We have the second look in overtime here for the season. As we have just heard, Carolina is fighting strong, still in first place to give this thing a good lack run. Look a tougher on the score inbound of this one. 44 shots on goal here for the Carolina and 38 for Detroit. There's so many hits here for Detroit and 13 for Carolina and no penalty has been regained here as they were complete silent. They have a lot of it on the board but could try to find out if there is another way to go over it. They need a lot of it. 
I mean, there are very tough players that can try to keep it over. Maybe there might be one, and that could be it, to take a win. Now it's time to get started here for overtime. Fives are inbound. Next goal wins. And it's still tied. We go to shootout for the second time of the season. We know that Bruins and Wilds, no goals in this game. But you always know that the tough players can definitely try to inbound it again. Well, like you said before, you can't win it all if you can try to pick it up in there. Let's get started. Overtime, here we go. Players are ready to be inbound, and it's about that time. And with the growth, the puck is ready for overtime. We start now. Here's Larkins outside. Ajo with the puck. Looking in. Oh, Anderson had a save me. Hold on tight. He's really lifting it off again. I'm seeing things there may be a lot harder to try to figure that one out. I don't think that he was going to let it ever happen again. Shot tipped wide. Larkins finds Sawyer and stopped by Anderson. Puck is stopped and we got a whistle of play to get ready for the faceoff. Two players, really tough inbounders. They might need something else big. Timing ability, Sider. Pockets wide out. Larkin, Sider. Shoots, Larkins. Oh my goodness, Anderson really make a save me. Here's Jarvis. Now Carolina has their turn to get over it. Looks to Katemi. Stopped by Husso. Hold the puck here with just 8 3, 18 to go. Teams are set here for the faceoff. Tie game, the next one could be it. Red Wings still delivers, delivers it up with another faceoff win. Here's another one. Larkins up, and it's stopped by Slavin, and it hits off the goalie with the save. Could tell me with it now. Need a regroup here. Nobody up in front. Slider back to Raymond. Raymond with the puck. Try to deliver it. Holding tight inbound. Jarvis with the puck. Looks over to Slavin. Slavin with the ball. He could be it. What a play! Slavin of Slavin, locked down, and he wins it. Wow, I can't believe it. This was the toughest game, and nobody's ever played here like that. But that was all it took. Jacob Slavin, what a shot. And this wrist is always picking up air on board. What a play. Carolina wins in overtime. 5-4, 5-5 five, five to 6-5. Five to what a fantastic game, and I bet you all love it too. With me and Ben, this is me, Phil. Thanks for watching. Let's go over to Son of Beast to close the game. Thank you very much, me, Phil. We have the third star, Martin Neckes, with a two goals picked up a deflector, and he made that one a good, tough look. The second star goes out to Paul Statsny, two goals and a hit. He made that one a good saving bound. Move around the end and took it around the back. And the first star of the game goes to Jacob Slavin. A game winning in overtime with two assists and two hits. Lockdown defense really well faced. And that was it. A Carolina crush the Detroit Red Wings here with a 6-5 game. Here are the total shot combinations in between 46 and 43. For the Carolina and Detroit. Then it was 19 to 13. A hit, time on attack was a lot harder than you they expected. 16 42 and 4 40, 59, almost five minutes. 94% of the passing was the very toughest inbound to play this game, and 84.8% for passing. There are so many faceoff wins for the Detroit, and Carolina could have made that one a good look of ability. But they all have known their tough players are in the lead. 
So with that one, a crush has been sent here for Carolina to stop the Detroit Red Wings in Motor City. So it looks like that, thank you so much me phone and fan, along with Test Tube, I have a personally feeling that this was an exciting ball game. We'll see what the next game will do, as you'll stick around next time. We will have the Capitals and the Bolts of Lightning at Capital One Arena. And the commentators again will be Jay and Greg, along with Kelly. Thank you for watching. Peace out everyone for a while as the NHL on EA Sports Style. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you don't, somebody will. Good day everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day. See ya. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.